What is up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I'm making a video on 10 fishing tips if you're going out on a party fishing boat. So let's go ahead and get started with number one. Tip number one guys is where to sit on a fishing party boat. Most people will tell you the back or the stern side of the boat is the best place to fish for a couple of reasons. So the first reason being is usually the fish finders in the back of the boat. So the captain a lot of times will anchor up right on a bunch of fish, right where he sees them on his fish finder. So that means the back of the boat's going to be directly over the fish. Another reason to sit in the back is it moves around a lot less in the front of the boat, so you're less likely to get seasick. The front of the boat's gonna be going up and down a lot more with the waves where the middle and the back of the boat are gonna be staying more steady. So if you're wanting to get seasick easy, the back of the boat or the middle of the boat is definitely better. All right, so tip number two, guys, is how to use a circle hook. I've been on about 10 party fishing boats and a lot of them use circle hooks. So just so you're aware, you don't set the hook on a circle hook and a circle hook is just when the tip of the hook points inward. All you do when you feel that fish on the line is reel in. You don't set the hook. So tip three is to always fish where they tell you on the boat. Make sure to listen intently to the captains and the deckhands because they'll tell you how far to drop your line down if you should be fishing at the surface or the bottom. I've had friends that didn't listen. They'll be fishing at the top, not catching a thing, and everyone else is reeling them in left and right on the bottom. So if they tell you, and a lot of times what you'll end up doing is you'll be pulling up to a reef or something, you'll be dropping your line all the way to the bottom and then you'll be reeling up three or four reels so you're just off the bottom. Definitely make sure to be fishing at the exact depth the captain or the deckhand tells you. So tip number four is to be ready for a decent sized boat ride to get to the spot you're fishing. So a lot of times for a six to eight hour charter you might spend two or three hours of that time just driving to and back from the spot. Tip five is to always book on days that have the least amount of wind and the least amount of waves. So you can go online, look at the wind and how rough the seas are. So if you have two days that are both sunny, either day works, make sure you look into the wind factor and the sea factor before booking, if you, especially if you're wanting to get seasick easily. Tip six, guys, is to bring some cash for tips and also to pay them to clean the fish if you want. So normally they want around 10 to 20% in a tip on top of what you paid to go out on the charter. So just be ready for that. Another thing is, is for cleaning fish, sometimes they do it complimentary. Sometimes they charge 50 cents a fish and I've been charged up to a dollar per fish clean. So just be aware of that. Tip number seven is to always check your bait often. A lot of people, as soon as you get to a fishing spot, they drop down their line, they start getting bites, and then also the bites stop, and they sit there the next 10 minutes waiting for another bite. The reason they're not getting that extra bite is because their bait is now stripped after the first 10 seconds it was down there, and they need to reel up. So if you don't get a bite pretty quickly, always be checking your bait because you'd be amazed at how quickly these fish can steal your bait, and you don't want to waste time when you only have a couple hours of fishing out there with a bare hook. Tip number eight is to always bring a cooler with snacks, water, and the cooler allows you to put the fish in that you catch and bring them home and keep them cool. But it can get pretty expensive on the boats if you buy their water and food. And normally, they'll allow food and water on the boat. So make sure to bring that cooler with snacks, food, water, and leave space for any fish fillets later on. Tip number nine deals with seasickness. If you're wanting to get seasick easy, make sure to bring some Bodine or take some medications before you go out on the water. Another good tip to avoid being seasick, like I mentioned earlier, is to sit on the back or the stern side of the boat or even the middle of the boat because it bounces around a lot less in the front of the boat. Another tip is if you're starting to get seasick, make sure to look out at the horizon and that'll help a lot. Tip number 10 is to not bring bananas on a charter fishing boat. One time I watched someone get crucified by the captain. The captain made a huge deal about it, grabbed the banana, threw it overboard, and apparently bananas on these boats are extremely bad luck and it'll jinx you, you won't catch anything, so do not bring a banana. But I hope you learned something from these tips and you'll try one of them out and it'll help you when you go fishing. So thanks for watching.